In the greater Los Angeles region, we have over 1.4 million unemployed and growing every day. Let's be clear, bread lines are getting longer because workers are not receiving the federal support they need. We are facing unprecedented budget shortfalls in both our city and county budgets. The state of California is facing its largest deficit in history, $54.3 million. This impacts all public sector workers, no matter what they do. The leadership in the House put forward what was the HEROES Act. This is that thing that all of us uh, should get all hands on. It is the only hope we have of getting rid of all the fiscal hole that we've faced. I lobbied very hard and successfully got the county and the city money for the COVID-19 response and the coronavirus relief funds. But that's only for expenses that we've already used uh, to combat this crisis. We all know that nobody's staying in hotels, folks aren't parking their cars, sales tax are down. We're facing a yawning gap in the city and I'm sure Catherine Barger will say at the county too. But if we can get this passed, we have a fighting chance in the next two years of making sure that we preserve jobs, that we might be able to get rid of furloughs, that we can ensure there's no layoffs, that we can do all the things we need to keep not just our government strong, but government is made up of people. The front line needs between 500 billion and $1 trillion to keep these communities afloat. It can be done, but we're gonna have to fight for it. We need a stimulus for workers because every single one of us is a vital thread in the public safety net that we must keep intact. Can everyone please take out your cell phones and go to your text screen? Now text the words VOICES to 31996. After you send your text, you can expect to answer a few questions. Once this is done, you have joined our dedicated team of digital union voices. Our job now, spread the word, activate wide support for what we're doing. And it's time for working Americans who dutifully contribute to their retirement to not have to worry about it vanishing after a lifetime of hard work. It's time for Washington to use every power at this nation's disposal to get the proper PPP to frontline workers and the communities we serve. Brothers and sisters, it's past time for elected leaders at the national level and corporations to protect all workers. Protecting workers, our families and our communities and our economy. We have to keep up this fight. It starts with a stimulus for workers from the federal government to state and local government. And together we can win a future that puts the power and the funds in our communities. There are multiple key provisions the county is asking for, specifically in Stimulus 5. We're asking for stabilization funding that should be made available to the county and cities so we can continue to provide critical on-site local services. We have workers risking their lives every day to protect other Angelinos and having to worry about pay cuts, furloughs, or layoffs. Now more than ever, they need our help. And as we come out of this pandemic, we will face a mountain of suffering among our most vulnerable families. And we'll need a lot more resources than we have now, not less. Let's give it all we've got. We need to get the stimulus for our workers. Please send the text now. Join our digital union voices. Seven to one members have shown up and gone to work. And it's that resilient spirit that's gonna carry us through to a new world on the other side of this pandemic. Thank you so much. So let's keep reminding people that we are the people, that these workers are flesh and blood, not statistics, and that if we are empowered, we can make sure that Los Angeles and cities and local communities across the country lead back not just to recovery, but a reimagining. I want to thank you again for inviting me to speak with you tonight. And more than anything, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for your dedication to our communities. You are all putting in so much time and effort to serve our residents. Los Angeles County couldn't do it without you, each and every one of you. Stay informed, stay union strong, and have a good night. Thank you.